Now, earlier this year, British Petroleum reinforced its commitment to South Africa with an announcement of a 5 billion rand investment. To unpack new developments since the April announcement, I'm joined by Tandi Ole in BP Southern Africa Chairperson. So since Tandi, thank you so much for joining us. So we had that amazing announcement uh, earlier this year. We had you coming onto the show, unpacking uh, what you were doing in South Africa. But I understand that now you've had further development and specifically in Mozambique. Let's start off with what are you doing uh, in Mozambique? How much are you investing and where is it going? Okay. Thanks, thanks, Nozipo. And I'm happy to be here again to uh, share the news. And as I said the last time I was here, that we are here in Southern Africa to stay as BP. Uh, we announced the investments in South Africa. And now we, I was in Mozambique with the team last week and we announced the investments in Mozambique. The investments in Mozambique will be just, uh, not just, will be over 9 million rand over the five year period that we're looking at. Not rand, sorry, 9 million US dollars. US dollars, 90, right. 90 million US dollars. You really are playing <laughs> down that number, hey? So we are, we, we are looking at a 90 million yeah. dollar yeah, investment into right. Mozambique. Into and so Mozambique. what are you are targeting with okay. these funds? Right. We have three uh, areas that we are going to be targeting uh, on in terms of our capacity. And uh, that is in Baira, Nakala, as well as Matola. And those are the areas where we, s we have the, the tanks and everything else that is that we are uh, fixing and adding some more. Then the th second part will be around the um, air airports, mm -hmm. uh, where we will be also increasing our capacity in, 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 in the airports, particularly in Maputo and Baira and any other, but those are the two in terms of the airports that we're targeting within this frame framework and this period. The third one will be the retails. Mm. Uh, we are going to be improving the retails to be in line with all the other retails around the world. So if you look at the retails in South Africa, that is the four courts, you would have seen that we are also improving them. So it's a similar exercise in Mozambique in terms of refreshing, adding new ones and making sure that we are of the same quality and standard as everywhere else in the world. I mean, BP has been in Mozambique since the 1920s. I mean, your, yeah. your, your stay there has been incredibly long. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the, the indicators that are coming out of Mozambique that are persuading you to, 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 to invest uh, in that particular market even further. Okay. As you rightly say, we've been in Mozambique for over 90 years. And as well as in South Africa. And one of the things we have had to do as firstly as the group and then as a BP Southern Africa was to say where are the markets where we would like to put more of our energy. For us, both South Africa and Mozambique uh, were choices that mm. were, were so easy to make in that they are neighbors. Firstly, secondly, both have got ports where we can import quite easily. And thirdly, the political stability in both countries ensures that uh, we, we want to, to be here and we want to expand. The third thing, particularly around Mozambique, as you know, the growth that has been taking place there over the last five years, and their growth rate has been in the region of 8 9% uh, per annum. So we, looking at those things, we believe as company, a company that has been in Mozambique over this time, there's no reason for us not to invest. Of course, uh, BP has also been in mm. the news around uh, mm. your interest in Angola. And we, mm. we'd have to touch on Angola, especially mm -hmm. you know, to, to address the question whether mm. you've made any progress um, in, in the gas area in Angola. Mm. Where are you in, in okay. that space? All right. Uh, I will not profess to be very knowledgeable on that side of the business because the way we manage or run the business is that we have the downstream mm. which is mainly in the southern african regions in south african mozambique the upstream is in angola uh, as well as namibia we also at present looking at tanzania in the upstream side in angola We've been there for quite some time now, and it's been very successful. Mm. And so the, the upstream side of the business in Angola is, very, is, is, is up and running, and we're very happy with the progress that is taking place there. 
I cannot give you detail about what is happening, as I say. Perhaps let's cast uh, attention mm. back to Mozambique. Now, mm. One of the, 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 mm. the interesting uh, things mm. about the Mozambican market, especially around mm. oil and gas, is been this imbalance between the infrastructure and the, the investment that needs to go into developing the infrastructure and the lag time that, that you know, takes place before you start accruing the, the profits uh, from those investments. What has been your experience with over a 90-year presence in that country? As you know, Mozambique has gone through a very traumatic time. There has been the wars that have taken place. Uh, and uh, there has been stability now, one would say, over more than 10 years in Mozambique. So looking at those uh, indicators, we believe that with the elections that are coming into place, with although the in all countries, you find that there are some challenges, but our analysis and our belief is that there is more hope. And the government has been very receptive, as, uh, as most uh, people will know. There has been new impetus around uh, energy in Mozambique. They've passed legislation relating to biofuels. Uh, there has been a lot of work that has been done around petroleum and uh, the, the various elements uh, thereof. The third area which has been very exciting for Mozambique as a country has been the discovery of shale gas. So now they've got three components that they are driving. And I believe that it is appropriate for BP as one of the companies that has been there for so long to look at how we can invest in that country as well as how we can assist Mozambicans to grow their economy.